I don't think we realize what the Golden State Warriors just did. As you all know, the Golden State Warriors are fighting for a playoff spot and they just won two crucial back-to-back -back games against Miami Heat and Orlando Magic. In today's video, we're going to be going through five key players that helped them win these back-to-back -back games and these five players, how they're going to help the Golden State Warriors win another NBA championship. So make sure to like this video and guys, 92% of you are still not subscribed to the channel. So I mean the world, if you could subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. The first is Stephen Curry. Curry coming in the clutch and hitting shots when it matters the most. As you all know, Steph Curry did play back-to-back -back games against Miami Heat and also Orlando Magic, but although he may have had rough shooting nights, he was able to close the game out against Orlando Magic by hitting a dagger three near the end of the game and hitting them with the night-night celebration. So this is the great thing about Steph Curry. Yes, he may have had some struggling nights shooting, but he's still able to close a game out and that's what makes him an absolute superstar and why he is considered the greatest shooter ever to live now we look at Steph Curry over the last two games if we start off with the Miami Heat one he did have himself a pretty good shooting night not the best but also not the worst he had 17 points six assists and also two rebounds while also shooting seven from 15 from the field and went three from 10 from the three-point line so not so bad whatsoever now we look at the Orlando Magic game he did shoot six from 18 and also went three from eight but he had 17 points 10 assists and four rebounds and I think this is what's fantastic about Steph yes he may not be scoring 30 35 bombs but he's still able to help his team and lead his team to a victory which he did in both of these games he wasn't the highest scorer in the orlando magic game and also when it came to that game against miami he wasn't also the highest scorer but he provided whenever he could i think the biggest benefit to this is that steph has also become a very good defender now he isn't a lockdown defender like andrew wiggins but he's no longer a liability like he used to be and i think having him out there on the floor even if he is struggling from the field he's still providing a lot for that team and i think that's what makes him very very special and why he's such a spectacular player the fact that he has been able to really improve on that defense and not be such a liability i think is definitely going to help them when it comes to playoff and championship time the second is andrew wiggins becoming an absolute defensive juggernaut now i don't know about you but andrew wiggins has surprised everyone over the last two games because he has been an absolute defensive nightmare for anyone that he is guarding now andrew wiggins in the most recent game against Against Orlando had himself 23 points, one assist, and also six rebounds, while also going from eight from 17 from the field and also went three from six from the three point line. He also had himself two great blocks, which I think is fantastic. But I think the biggest thing about this is that when it came to Andrew Wiggins' defense, it was definitely not shown in the stat sheet, but he was honestly a huge maker for Orlando losing against the Golden State Warriors. Wiggins' defense was honestly second to none. His ability to switch on to really any player in that Orlando. Orlando team or even Miami team at times was honestly fantastic to see and it's what really makes him special especially when it comes to playing with this Golden State Warriors team. I think the great thing about this is that Wiggins doesn't need to focus so much more on scoring as he used to. He was still the highest point scorer in this matchup which I think was great but the fact that he really has honed in on his defense and become the defensive menace that he always was I honestly think is going to be huge especially when it comes to playoff and championship time. If you look at his matchup against Miami Heat. He did a really good job there as well. He went 17 points, one assist, and also seven rebounds while also getting two blocks. So he's able to be not only just a great on ball defender, but his shot blocking at a very good rate. He was actually the highest block total in this game. And I think it's honestly great and impressive to see it from a small forward of Wiggins' caliber. So Wiggins will continue to surprise a lot of people, but I do love that he is starting to become more of himself as he has missed out on the last two seasons with, you know, certain problems back home and I think it's now finally starting to get back to him and starting to find his way back into the league. Wiggins has definitely struggled over the last two seasons but I think with everything that has been going on and the fact that they actually have a proper shot at making it into the playoffs it seems they all are starting to get on the same page and Wiggins is finally back and in full effect of trying to win another NBA championship. I definitely see him still being a huge scorer for this team so I do love his aggressiveness on offense and I hope that does continue on into to the next matchup as I think Wiggins' scoring is still definitely going to be needed even though it may not be the same or the same amount of usage rate as before but having him as a great scorer and defender that two-way player that they need is going to be hugely beneficial. The third is Klay Thompson starting to find his way and become a better scorer for this team. Now as you all know Klay Thompson did suffer two major injuries and it has really taken a huge hit on his consistency out there but it does seem that it is starting to change especially as of recent on these back 
back-to-back -back games. If you look at the most recent game against Miami Heat and also Orlando Magic, the first matchup against Miami, he did have himself 28 points. He was actually the highest scorer, also went 11 from 20 from the field and also six from 14 from the three-point line, which I thought was amazing. And then the matchup against Orlando, he was able to drop 15 points, two assists, and also have six from 13 from the field and three from eight from the three-point line. So he did a fantastic job in both games, but where I do see Clay Thompson doing very well is the fact that he is really starting to get into his old self and starting to play the basketball that he loves to play, which is playing spot up, one dribble shoot type action. And I do believe that when it comes to Clay Thompson, it did seem that earlier on in the season, he didn't really seem himself. He was trying different things. He was trying to be more of a scorer off the dribble, and it didn't seem to fit his play style that well. Now that Jonathan Kaminga has come back and become a bigger, bigger asset for this team. Also, you have now new scores like Andrew Wiggins back, Trace Jackson Davis has become a scorer and all these other scores around. I think what really makes this super special is that Klay Thompson can go back to what he does best, which is spot up shoot and play great defense. He may not have the same amount of defensive ability as Andrew Wiggins, but I do believe when it comes playoff and championship time, Klay Thompson is definitely going to be a valuable asset. Steve Kerr has moved him from starting position to bench back to starting position, and we don't know where it is going to end up in the future, but I do believe and I have very much a lot of faith in Klay Thompson that he will be able to accept his role and do whatever it takes in order to win games. And that is definitely what they are doing. As you all know, Houston Rockets are just behind them when it comes to playing in the play-in and the Warriors want to hold them to that position as much as they can. Houston Rockets are definitely going to be tough as they are on a bit of a hot streak when it comes to winning. So Klay Thompson and the rest of the Golden State Warriors need to continue to win games and you definitely see the way Klay Thompson has been playing that it is definitely on his mind that they want to make this play in They aren't looking to tank anytime soon and I absolutely love that and I think there's a lot of respect there for Klay Thompson on how he's been able to bounce back so far not just this season but throughout his career ever since those two major injuries. The fourth is that Brandon Podziemski continues to be a great role player. Now as you all know Brandon Podziemski was in the starting lineup and actually replaced Klay Thompson but as of recent he was actually sent back to the bench and now Klay Thompson is starting again. And although it may be tough to see someone like Brandon Podziemski who has so much potential and is a fantastic player now coming off the bench instead he's done a great job over the last two games to really continue to do what he does best and play great defense and be a great teammate and he definitely has shown that over the last two games now he may not be putting up crazy numbers but in the game against Miami Heat he was able to get six points five rebounds also went three from five from the field and also had one steal and one assist on top of that when we look at the Orlando Magic game he also came off the bench had around 21 minutes had six points nine rebounds one assist and one steal but the greatest thing about Brandon Podziemski is I think I love his ability to be able to play whether it's a starting role whether it's a role-playing role and he does whatever it takes in order just to win he's a very unselfish player and I think that's a very respectable thing to have especially in today's league you can tell he loves playing with the Golden State Warriors and I think it will continue on as time goes on during his time in this team when it comes to Brandon what I love most about his game is definitely his defense it is second to none you do got to remember Brandon is a guard yet he is grabbing boards like he is a big man he actually was one of the top players when it came to rebounding in that matchup against Orlando the only other player to actually get more rebounds than him was Trace Jackson Davis and he's actually a big man so it definitely puts in perspective on just how fantastic Brandon does when it comes to doing the things that no one else does whether it's grabbing a board whether it's playing extra help defense all these little things definitely add up and I think a lot of Warriors fans definitely know what he actually means to this Golden State Warriors team especially when it comes to playoff and championship time the fifth is Gary Payton the second continuing to play a great defensive role now as you all know Gary Payton the second may not put up 25 30 points per game or give you 10 blocks or anything crazy like that however Gary Payton the second there's a reason why he gets minutes and he is honestly a defensive menace especially for that second unit I think he definitely doesn't get enough credit due to the fact that he does come off the bench and secondly he is just playing defense out there but he did a fantastic job over the last two games especially with the amount of minutes that he was given and against Miami Heat he had himself 14 minutes but also against Orlando Magic he also had 19 minutes but also went perfect from the field five from five had 10 points three steals one block one assist and one rebound and this is what I absolutely love to see especially for someone like Gary Payton the second his plus minus is actually plus four in that Orlando Magic game which was 
great and on top of that when it comes to what he's capable of doing out there not just on defense but on offense if given the opportunity to score i think is what makes him such a great player like i mentioned he did go five from five and he did drop 10 points in this matchup so when he does need to score he is capable of doing it which i absolutely love but i do believe that he needs definitely a lot more credit than he deserves because he has been a great great player for that second unit and also a great glue for another defensive player out there he's definitely all defense but i do believe he does deserve an award for it i definitely could see him in that all defensive team and i do believe that when it comes to the minutes that he's given it will continue to increase especially when it comes to playoff and championship time like i always mention guys championships are won by defense and because of that gary payton is definitely going to be needed when the time comes